hey guys, the OnePlus 9 series will arrive on March 23rd, and the company revealed key details about the display of the phones, and the Realme GT Neo is coming on March 31st with Dimensity 1200 SoC by the way, if you're watching this video, sub to the channel will be awesome. According to the panel, will be LTPO with adaptive refresh rates from 5Hz to 120Hz. The resolution of the screen is said to be 2K+, which means Quad HD+, or 1440p. We expect to see both the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro adopt the new screen technology, just like Oppo did with its Find X3 series, after all, there are plenty of similarities between these sets of flagships, including the fact they come out from the same factory. However, unlike Oppo, OnePlus actually decided to get the screen tested by DisplayMate and received an A-plus grade. It isn't surprising the panel is so good, given the raw specifications, it has a true 10-bit panel with 1 billion colors, as well as 8192 steps of brightness adjustment. On top of that, Samsung's LTPO OLED panels are more power efficient than the regular OLEDs, bringing the battery consumption even lower. One of the key advantages of this tech is that it easily supports an adaptive refresh rate. The CEO revealed that the OnePlus 9 will be able to go from 120Hz all the way down to 1Hz. This will be a boon for things like the always-on display and other instances, where the phone is showing a static screen. The CEO is also keen to point out that not all 120Hz panels are born the same. The upcoming phones will feature a high-touch sampling rate, which will allow them to react to input more quickly. Here's a comparison between the OnePlus 9 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. OnePlus will imbue the 9 series with gaming flavor. The 9 Pro will have a 5-layer gaming-grade cooling system to keep the Snapdragon 888 chipset running as fast as possible. Right now that all we know about the phone. Back to Realme GT Neo, the Realme unveiled the Snapdragon 888-powered GT 5G earlier this month and teased the GT Neo with the Dimensity 1200 SoC. While the company is yet to detail the GT Neo's specs, it's confirmed that the GT Neo will be unveiled on March 31st. A Realme smartphone bearing model code RMX3116 and believed to be the GT Neo was spotted. With a 6.55 curved screen, Android 11, and a 4400mAh dual cell battery. The phone's rear panel has the big dare to leap text and a rectangular camera that appears to house three cameras and LED flash, it also supports 5G that's all we know about the phones, and don't forget to subscribe.